Instantaneous speed is the speed you are going in one instant. I am going 5 miles per hour right now, so that is my instantaneous speed. If I am going 5 miles per hour while walking and my brother starts chasing me, I'll speed up and my instantaneous speed will change. Newton's first law. What's that? This may be referred to as inertia because an object will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. An object will also stay at rest until acted upon by an outside force. This may be like if another car crashes into another moving car. The first car's motion changes when it comes, to, comes in contact with another car. Today I'm going to talk about displacement. Displacement is the distance and direction of an object's change in position from the starting point. In displacement, you need your distance and your direction. So say you're driving a car and you go 40 miles north. And then you realize that you went too far so you have to go back 20 miles south. So what would your displacement be? Your displacement would be 20 miles north because you are 20 miles from your starting point. How fast an object is moving is called speed. The faster something is moving, the greater distance it can travel. Speed is the distance an object travels in a unit of time. To find speed, you would use this equation. Speed equals distance over time. One example of speed is how fast a cheetah can run. Let's say that the cheetah ran 10 meters in 5 seconds. You'd find the speed by dividing 10 meters by 5 seconds. You would get 2 seconds. This means that the cheetah ran 5 meters each 2 seconds. Wait. Weight is something that almost everything has, even the air. Weight is how heavy something is. This can be affected by many things, like density or area. Although the only reason there is weight is because there's gravity. Weight varies in different places where their gravity changes. Things can lose weight or gain weight. All this is important and affects everyday life greatly. Speed is the rate at which an object is going. It is the distance an object travels in a unit of time. Also, it is the measure of momentum and pace the object is moving to. An example of speed is a car going 60 miles per hour and where it ends. Speed can go rapidly, fast, or slow. It depends on what the object is and where it is going. To find speed, you would use this equation. Speed equals distance over time. In this hologram, I will be talking about friction. Friction is resistance that one surface or object encounters when moving over another. One example of friction is when you rub your hand on a carpet really fast and your hand gets hot. Ow! That is friction. The carpet is causing heat by the two objects rubbing together so fast. Friction happens anywhere, from pistons in an engine to tires on the ground. Speed is the distance an object travels in a unit of time. So if you are at a house and you want to go to school, you drive about 50 miles per hour, that is your speed, at the distance you are going in a certain amount of time. Average speed is found by taking the total distance divided by the time taken. For example, if I were running a mile and it took me 9 minutes, and then I run another mile and it took me 11 minutes, you would take the total distance, in this case 2 miles, divided by the total time it took me to finish, in this case 9 minutes and 11 minutes, to find my average speed of the 2 miles I ran. My average speed would be 6 miles per hour.